Hey everybody, it's Sean Hack. Um, I'm back. I know it's been a while, but today we are going to be reviewing this food packet survival general purpose ration. Now, this ration is a very interesting ration. Uh, from my point of view, because when I saw this on the top here, it says food packet. Uh, you go down past some numbers. It says food packet and it says uh, MG2188-13 and it says EMGE Aviation. So I was like, well, wow, that's interesting. I was like, is it like a aviation, um, is it like an aviation food packet, something different? Um, I don't know, I have another one, uh, food packet general purpose um, ration, but it doesn't have that. So I thought, oh, okay, well, that's interesting. Um, so I picked one up for me and my buddy, uh, Matt Hake. Awesome guy. You guys know I've shouted, I've shouted him out so many times. But hey, truly awesome guy. Awesome YouTube, awesome YouTube channel. Um, so, yeah, this will be an interesting one to review because, uh, you know, it's from 1983. Not as old as that, uh, 1975 uh, crackers and chocolate. So this will be interesting. I don't want to kill my insides today, but it has some delamination here on the front. So I'm kind of concerned. But the interesting part with this food packet is the where the key would go up here. It goes around the top. On my other one, it's like in the middle. I haven't had my other one. Um, it's older, it's from 1977. So if this if this doesn't go well, I don't know. But I'm gonna open up with a key, that'd be interesting. But before I get into that, I just wanna remind you guys, we are climbing up to 50 subscribers. Right now we're at 43 subscribers. You guys all know what happens at 50 subscribers. I will be doing that giveaway with that Lithuanian camp stove with the fuel tablets. I think it's gonna be a cool giveaway to whoever wins it. But if you guys can like, share, and comment this, these videos I make so it gets out to the, gets out to other people so they can watch my content and uh, you know, subscribe, and then we can do our giveaway and it'll be fun times. Um, but I think we'll get into this. So um, this is it. And uh, I guess we'll just get into it. Key. Listen for a hiss. No hiss. Oh boy. Get a small chicken broth smell. All right. So this is what it says, or this is what it looks like on the inside. Sorry, my bad. It's uh, all paper, all paper stuff. Nothing is labeled. It is very interesting. I've never seen that before. This here, paper black. I've not seen that. Another paper block, nothing here. Let's move this back so you guys can see our paper blocks here. We have a sugar packet uh, packed for Superior Tea and Coffee Company, Chicago, Illinois. This is actually cool because it has a question on it. It says, for what role is Milburn Stone best known for? Well, I don't think it wants to focus, but it's there. And on the back it says, answer, Doc on Gunsmoke. I have no idea what that means. So, but that's cool. They put a nice question and answer on there. 
Um, we have another superior. This is instant sucaf, 97% caffeine-free coffee. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Uh, that's what it looks like on the back. All right, this is probably what I've been smelling. This is Right Time Chicken Flavor Soup Mix. Uh, by the General Food General Foods Corporation Food Service. This is weird. This looks like a lot of uh, like civilian type stuff. I don't know. Right, our last paper block. So we have three bigger paper blocks and a smaller one. And last but not least, we have something called Shuckles. It is a piece of candy. I don't know if you can read it there, it says Shuckles. And on the back, Hmm. What the heck? No, oh, the paper's falling apart. The plastic's falling apart. But it has directions. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. It says uh, Nabisco's Confections Incorporation, Danville. Illinois, Illinois. Um, the plastic's really falling apart. Like, pretty, pretty good there. Well, maybe I'll get the information when I'm done with that. By the way, here's the inside of the container. Uh, empty. Uh, I'm gonna read out the instructions. It says. The food in this packet is especially designed for survival use. This food can be eaten when water supply is limited. Caution! If you are exposed to salt spray or have swallowed salt water, do not use the soup and gravy base. The soup base may be made into a broth or used to season chicken flavored soup. The food packet can hold 12 ounces of water, brim full when opened with a can opener or eight ounces brim full when opened with a key. Eating slowly will give more satisfaction. Well, I guess that would be the difference. They give you more, uh, you can have more water in here. Uh, I don't think I'll be drinking out of that, but we'll get this out onto my tray. Whatever all this stuff is, we'll put our coffee and our sugar, and we'll put our blocks here, put that block here, this block here. All right. Uh, interesting, interesting to say the least. Uh, well, sorry, I was trying to get a shot of that, and I kind of just messed up my whole head. All right, so, well... Let me open up these these paper blocks. This is uh, like a surprise. All right, this is what this block is. I have no idea. I mean, it almost looks like gingerbread, except I know it's not gingerbread. I cannot tell you what that is. It's probably a ration bar, right? All right. Let's try out this big block. Oh, more of them. Except just like that. So what you get? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're rack weight, but I'll open it up all the way. Seven rasher bars. I think they'll all be the same. Maybe this is the gravy base. I can't imagine. That's a lot of gravy base. So, you get six bars. Um, I'm gonna go get some supplies to try out this coffee, hopefully, and this chicken flavored soup mix and hopefully it's good but you know it's old all right well i'm not gonna lie i'm not really super appetized by this so this uh the smells are not top notch let me tell you but oh i wonder if this will be dry molded Really hoping not. You know what? Hmm. That does not look bad. It does not look dry molded. Well, I guess we'll pour it in our coffee then. Hmm. Like always, it smells like coffee. This time it smells a little older. Sugar, stir it up. This does not seem uh, like it mixes up very well. I don't think this is a very edible uh, thing I'm doing here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right. Well, that simmers down. We'll get this soup base open. Oh, I can only imagine. sure about this one. Mm. Yeah. Uh. You know what? I put it in, but I don't know if I'll drink it. I mean, looks like fish eggs. I really don't think it would even dissolve. I think to be truthful with you. I mean, that's what it looks like. That ain't gonna mix up, I can tell you. I mean, I'll, uh, yeah. This is definitely, this is definitely an experience. Compared to that, uh, crackers. That MCI thing. Wow. Oh wait. Well, I'm gonna try this coffee. I don't know if I'm gonna be uh, impressed. You know what? 
Coffee actually tastes all right. Even though some of the clumps are showing and it does not look good at all. I'm gonna let that sit. I think I'm gonna try one of these. This is probably the death of me right here. Hard pass, hard pass, hard pass. Mm. Mm -mm. Ugh, what the heck, dude? It's like eating dog food. I mean, I probably wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even feed that to a dog. It's like, yeah. It's like, hard and it's so dry but it's got some weird the way it mixes up with the coffee oh horrible 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 wow i mean i got no taste of i don't even know what this is supposed to be I don't even understand what this is supposed to be. All right, time to drive to death me, number two. This is like unedible. Like, I guess if you were out in the wilderness and you needed to survive, this would probably do it. And that's probably why it says, wow, I don't know, it says the spook me eating even when water supply is limited. Well, this would suck to eat without water um and i don't understand the satisfaction part like i'm not getting no satisfaction hmm Well, this tastes like chicken broth, which is what it is, but considering it's still got clumps on the bottom, it's not all like dissolved in the water. That's probably not even safe to drink. I'm probably gonna end up regretting that. But I guess the one thing we can look forward to this is the candy. Now I'm gonna say that and it's ending up gonna be like rancid or something. Well, this is it. I presume it was supposed to be a jelly, but it's rock hard, so. It says, ingredients, sugar, corn syrup, corn starch, cream of tartar, coconut oil, natural, and artificial flavors, artificial colors, and and it gets cut off. So, um, well, don't think you'll be able to get a better look at the wrapper. And this is chuckles. Well, this is probably a failed ration to be honest. Uh, it failed the test of time, would be my guess. But let's try this. What the heck? Mmm. Hold up. That. What's the best thing in this? They should have given me more. It tastes like. Um. Uh, I think it's like, water, I, I wanna say it's watermelon, 
But you know when you make cotton candy and uh, those sugar crystals, like besides the ones that get wound up in the cotton candy, but like kind of the hard stuff that lays on the side, that's what that tastes like. Yep, like I said, that was the best part of the ration. Second place comes coffee. Um, I like to say third place comes chicken broth, but I don't know if I would drink all that. Fourth place, definitely the worst is this thing. But, um, um this is where, uh, gonna end the review i appreciate if you guys stayed to the end um uh watch me review this it's definitely interesting because all the other ration bars i've seen they come in plastic not paper with foil so that is uh definitely different and interesting um uh, well i thank you for joining me this is uh january 2nd uh, can't believe it's January of a new year, 2022. Yee yee. Uh, anyway, so I hope you guys have a great week. Um, have fun, do great things, and see you on the next upload.